um, I will give a quote on um, uh, what a jurist had, has written about uh, one of the uh, peop leading people in child protection in Norway that he had went through um, 33 decisions uh, made by a person called Paulson and in every single of those uh, 33 cases uh, this Paulson had uh, concluded in favor of the child protection and uh, one should expect that in every system uh, people working for the state are not perfect. Sometimes they might be right, sometimes wrong. But here in every 33 uh, of the cases, uh, the conclusion was the same, that she, uh, uh, this person uh, concluded in favor of the child protection. Uh, and to give an example of um, uh, the um, child protection in Norway, there was an infamous um, case in uh, um, a few years ago, and uh, Doug Yosen, the leader of my organization, wrote an article about that, this. This it was um, a young woman with two children uh, who were taken away from her. She uh, lives in northern Norway, and uh, there was an IQ test taken on her, and they said that oh, she is retarded. Uh, later on. There um, was a new IQ test, but at the time she got some help. She uh, was, uh, uh, at the first IQ test, she was very stressed because uh, they had taken her children and uh, placed them in another room. And on the new IQ test, her IQ was just below, uh, slightly below average. That's not, that's not uh, being uh, retarded. So. And uh, you, the same you are I who wrote this report about these uh, 37 cases. He looked at the, this case and interviewed a teacher um, who had been quoted on, that, uh, on, on an exam. She got special help. And he said to Tranai, no, I have never said that. And he went to the court, the high court, uh, which uh, were, was... Uh, uh, working on her case, and they didn't mention that, so they concealed the truth, and by that they have done an illegal act. Very much so. Yes, and um, uh, uh, one um, recent case, uh, which uh, Doug Hiosen, the leader of FAMPO, has quoted, it's a case in uh, uh, southern Norway, uh, a person looking there has coming uh, to look at the family and uh, finding to find out is he fit to have his children. He has lost the case now, but I'll quote some of the the um, what uh, is but written about this father. He has found a new girlfriend that is 14 years younger than him. Oh, that's weird. Then it's not fit to be a father, and. Um, He's not letting his son know his new stepmother gradually. Uh, well, then they, uh, that's not logical because uh, the authorities want to take the child to a completely new family. And it's, it's seeing uh, this new uh, girlfriend has um, even been patologized, uh, being complained that she um, has no contact with the son, nor, nor the children of the um, man she lived together with before, not her children, but his. And that's being patologized. So there are, this is, uh, things like that are being used against parents. And if you look about many of these uh, uh, cases with uh, child protection in Norway, you can write side a page up and page down with these things. It's uh, uh, Almost unbelievable if you are not. Uh, uh, if you're not, not familiar with it. Yes, familiar with it. So uh, uh, it's well, not. Uh, it's not um, so weird that many Norwegians now have fled to, for example, Spain to get away from the child protection authorities. Okay. Yes. Now, 
in short, as Shakespeare would say, there's something rotten in the house of Denmark. Uh, now, the next question probably sounds stupid in view of what you've just outlined. Now, uh, 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 the courts and the judicial system in Norway, are they to be trusted? And that can be answered in one word, I think. Well, um, uh, as uh, one uh, should know from Shakespeare, there is something rotten in the homeland on f Fortin Bras, too. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Um, in 1998, there was um, a magazine called Economisk Rapport. Yes. Even though uh, that's Norwegian, you can uh, probably guess that it's Economical Report. It um, looked at um, the most prominent high court in Norway, Borgarting, and um, looked at almost all their um, uh, handling of cases and they wrote down themselves that they were astonished because they found out that the judges uh, didn't seem to know what they talked about and uh, there was uh, uh, this uh, big travesty of uh, justice and ordinary people could lose um, uh, about half a million kroner or about, uh, let's say, 62,000 euros on uh, almost uh, nothing, uh, cases about almost nothing. And uh, 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 in an, um, there was uh, a leader of a book cop publishing uh, company in Norway that uh, got on print his critique on on uh, the judicial system and he, he said that about after listing up some uh, well-known judicial murders in Norway he said that what is frightening and bad here isn't that these, uh, cases are so many but they're, that they are so ugly and that you even can see some uh, patterns in this uh, um, uh, uh, Doug Hiosen uh, has um, for uh, a long time uh, uh, pres represented people who have got problems with the legal system or with um, the psychiatry and so on. And his conclusion that he said to me, that when you're looking at the most corrupt uh, cases, it's not difficult to see that there's something wrong here. Yeah, indeed. These effects are being withheld, and uh, uh, many people that have come to us have said that my lawyer, he was actually representing the opposing part. <laughs> so how could it, can you hit? Yes, yeah. and uh, just to give an example, uh, there uh, 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 last year uh, we had some. Uh, there was a man who died, but finally he was, uh, the judicial system said that this murder that he was accused of, he didn't commit it. No. That has people known for decades. He wasn't physically able to do it. But just on the last part of his life, he was, um, was uh, considered... Uh, um, innocent, but still there are other cases like um, a man um, in his, I think he's 71 years old, Torgerson, uh, so who have, uh, was uh, 16 years old, if I don't remember wrongly, in jail for a, a bad sexual murder, very grave case, but uh, what was uh, said to be evidence against him is actually evident that he's innocent. The physical evidence are just crap, and people know that, but uh, still, uh, the still in custody. case for, uh, for uh, taking up the case again is just said, oh, we will not take it up again.